going back to our now seven items that we check, the seven conditions, no evidence of impending failure. This is one that still will sometimes have people scratching their head like, how do I know if, if there's a possibility this failing or not? Well, there's a lot of judgment that goes into it. And I always use the famous phrase, if you see something, say something, meaning if the equipment is buzzing or it's unusually hot or just, you know, something obvious that this doesn't seem like it's right, well, check into it. I don't think you can check that box. So if you see equipment, for example, that looks like this, I'd be a little hesitant to do anything with this. So there was a, a new uh, informational note, and the informational note references water damage. So evaluating water damage for electrical equipment, there is a reference to a standard on how to do this. And water damage can be quite amazing. I took this photograph several years ago. I'm a big Formula One racing fan. And this was in Austin, Texas. They have the uh, F1 track there. And this particular race was right at the end of a hurricane that came through. So it was the wettest race I think they ever had. What really puzzled me is who would locate electrical equipment in the middle of a drainage ditch? That doesn't seem like the best thing to be doing there. 